Hello, this is Joe Piccarillo, Assistant Superintendent in Hopakong, and I'm here now with George Sigali. He's our lead teacher in our new CTE program in broadcast journalism. And what's really exciting about it is this, like any other CTE program, offers a three-course sequence, the opportunity for students to learn about a field, and be prepared to enter that field upon graduation, and learn from industry professionals in that field while having an opportunity to get college credits. So Mr. Sigali will be able to tell you all about what it is students do here and why this is a really great program for our high school to have. So, Mr. Segali. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. what's, what's really exciting, I think, is the fact that, yes, as you mentioned, you can take the course, complete, and then enter into the field. But the other thing that you can do is further it into higher education um, and, and go for a degree and, and, and perhaps even master in that uh, discipline. Um, so it, it's pretty broad, which is pretty great. Um, what, what we do here is this, this started out as a beginner course, um, and then of course we're now branching into a, uh, a larger program. Um, what we have here is a full year program, and we have five different news programs that, or I should say television programs that we uh, produce a week. Uh, <clears throat> at the beginning, it was just a morning news show. As you can see, we're sitting on our morning news set here. Um, we had segments at the end of every news broadcast. We had um, a change. Uh, one of our uh, teachers did a segment every day at the end of the news, and he wound up retiring. So we started brainstorming this year. Well, what can we do to replace this segment? And one kid said, well, let's do something different every day. OK, no problem. So we came up with, well, let's do a little talk segment, and then well, let, let's let's have like a like a Dateline based video report, and then let's do a cooking segment. Let's have something on sport, and then it just kind of hit me one day. I said, "These aren't segments, kids. These are five different television shows." And they said, "Well, whoa, 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 Mr. Segali, you want us to do five different shows a week?" I said, "Yeah," <laughs> and you know their, their eyes got all big, and I said, "Listen, no, we can do this." So we took fifteen students, broke them down to teams of three, five different teams a week. So now each student has essentially six days out of the week to produce their show. So we have our Chiefs Morning News on Mondays. Um, Tuesdays, we produce the Tuesday Talk, which is a talk show loosely based on the Ellen Show. Um, <laughs> Wednesday to Wednesday is our, our Wednesday program, obviously. That is like a dateline, a video report. Students go out and uh, record uh, various events from around the community and then roll a, a, a small spot on that. Thursday is our cooking show. It's called Chief Chow. It's a lot of fun. Um, even sometimes when the recipes tank, it's fun to watch the kids taste it at the end as they're rolling <laughs> credits. And then Friday is our game day show, which is um, a professional and uh, local student sport-based show. Um, something that's really cool is since we are um, building a new weight room in our old gymnasium, they took down the scoreboard. I found that in the garbage pile and <laughs> put in a work order. Maintenance is going to be bringing it up here, and that's going to be the background for Another set. Show nice. set. So, yeah, i got to figure out how to rewire it and, <laughs> and make it blink and do cool things. But we have a lot of fun here, and they're, they're essentially learning how to produce five different shows five different days a week. We put out different content each day. It's, it's really a lot of fun. So moving forward into the CTE program, uh, it's going to be um, first year, actually, is going to be a public speaking course and then a journalism course, so that by the time they come to Television One, where they're doing the five shows, they've already got the experience in public speaking, maybe speaking on camera, writing copy for show. And then Television Two is going to be a more advanced version of this program, where we're going to do one show every Friday with five different teams, five different segments, instead of five different shows, and we're going for a late night talk show format. We're still in the works on how we're going to do that, but. We, we want to take down Jimmy Fallon in this night show. But that's the plan so far, and we're, we're definitely having a good time, and, and we just can't wait to see where it takes us. And one of the beauties of the CTE programs in general, this one is no different, is it gives students really the opportunity to do the work that is what they're studying. So while you have child care, you can talk about child care, you can learn about child care, but you have an opportunity to actually do child care, and we can do that here at Hopacom. You can talk about TV, you can talk about journalism, and every other high school, I'm sure, has a journalism course or, or, or something like that, but not every high school gets to do the work. And so that's why people like George, who's, who, who knows this field, who does this work, people like Michelle that know this field, that do this work, 
This is a great opportunity for our students. That's like no other. It's a great opportunity for us. It's a lot of fun. It keeps it interesting. <laughs>